So what I want to cover off in this video is to show you how to update an existing PowerShell environment for Microsoft 365. So I'm going to assume that you have all the appropriate modules installed in your environment and you'll need to go and update these on a regular basis to take advantage of all the new features that are made capable by these. Now the place to start is to go to my repository on GitHub, so github.com forward slash director CIA. Go into the Office 365 repo by selecting that. And then what we're doing here is looking for a file called o365-update. All right, so if we go in here, you'll see that there is the file there, o365-update.ps1, select that. You will see a listing of the code behind the script there. So what we'll do is make it easy for us to grab that. We'll go into raw. We will go control A to select everything, control C to grab a copy of that. Now what we need to do is go and now run our PowerShell environment, but we'll need to make sure we are running that as an administrator because we'll be making changes to the environment which requires elevated privileges. So we'll go in, run that as an administrator. And again, we've already had this set up and customized. Select the top uh, area and control V to paste the update script in there. Now, once you've got that in, all you need to do is hit the run button there. And what it's going to do is it's going to go and look at the required modules that you have in your environment and then compare the current version on your machine with the most recent that's available in the online gallery. If you need an update, you'll see that you will be uh, basically updated automatically to the latest version. If there is not an update required, then it will skip to uh, the next module. Now, if for some reason you don't have uh, the module uh, on this environment, then what is going to happen is it will uh, install the module automatically for you. So there's no need to worry if you haven't got the module that it's going to uh, check for. It's going to go in and take care of that uh, for you as well. So you'll see it move through basically all the modules that are required here, and it will verify each one of those versions against what is the latest that is available in the cloud. And if there is an update that's available, automatically go in and update. Uh, that for you. So you'll see here in his example of a local module which is a lower version than uh, what is available on the internet. So that is now going to go in and uh, do an update through the normal process for that. Remember this action will only take place when a newer module is detected uh, and it will automatically update the system for you. So again we will let that process uh, complete. So you can see now that the process has completed, updated the scripts that it needed to. Now the best option would be to go and save this file. So let's go in and if we go in and save that file uh, to a location, all right, in this case, I've already done that previously. I do have that file on here. So what I'm just gonna do is uh, change to that location and just show you that once you save it, you do uh, get a number of uh, additional options here. Uh, that you can use with this. So remember, if you do want to come back and rerun this uh, at any stage, you can do that once you've saved that by simply typing uh, the name right dot uh, ps1. Now, when we've done that, we also have uh, a number of options here. So you'll see that I've included the capability for you uh, if you want to basically be prompted to install any updated modules. So if you don't, uh, do this if you run the script directly then it's just going to update the modules without asking you automatically do the updates but if you do want it to prompt you and go through that process save the script first and then run it with the uh, minus prompt option that I have here so again remember that you can run this as many times as you want run this on a regular basis to update your PowerShell scripts for uh, Microsoft 365 and hopefully you've got value out of the script and from watching this video